All right, so as we continue that bounce back coverage, we want to talk about a new move to revitalize a neighborhood that's really seen store after store shutting down. San Francisco is kicking off a push to bring 17 pop-up shops to fill empty storefronts in the financial district downtown. And it's not just shopping and food. There's actually a lot there, including creative art spaces. And one of those pop-ups is The Mellows. It's a performance venue and a plant store. So the co-owners, Lorena Cortez and David Velasco, join us live right now this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. And I got to ask, how do we get performances mixed in with plants? That's very creative. <laughs> You know, uh, that's a great question. We started uh, Mellow Sessions back in 2017 in Stowe Lake, uh, Lake House. And this space where we are today is uh, Mellow Hade. And uh, we just turned it into a venue at night. So it's a very intimate, active listening experience here. You know, we've been talking to people, putting their skin in the game. We've been using that phrase a lot in San Francisco. A lot of stores closing. Why are you choosing to be brave, really plant your flag and say, hey, we're going to be vacant to vibrant? Gosh, I mean, we've been living in the city for a decade now. We are devoted to this city and we're not going to give up. <laughs> we want to just add more of our light here. And I think that's what we need more than ever is uh, small businesses and artists and makers revitalizing this city. And so Vacant, and Vi Vacant to Vibrant, SF New Deal, Mayor London Breed, we're all joining forces to add that glow. I love seeing the dog in the shot. You guys have the sign that says the <laughs> Mellow Pack Heights. Tell me, what's behind the name of your store? <laughs> it's our dog, uh, Mellow. She's our baby. So we yeah. named our business after uh, our girl. And it's honestly just uh, in hopes of com creating a community hope uh, where people can come and enjoy what we're offering, music, a great atmosphere. Um, and um, yeah, it's just a community hub. We have to get really intentional about it, don't we, as we rebuild some of these neighborhoods that have really suffered during the pandemic. We actually have to see this and go out and show up and let the community know that, hey, we're going to shop local. We're going to get to know our neighbors and support these vibrant ways of going forward. Yeah, definitely. There's so many things popping up in the city and great businesses, great um, initiatives like this one. Um, that like everyone in San Francisco should get out and, and check out what, what's yeah, going with, on. Without our community, we, we would be nothing. So it means the world to us every time folks come through our doors. And it's nice to see it's not just these corporations, too. It's just, you know, people like you yeah. creating a community and a business to invite people in. How important is, you, is it to you to support that around San Francisco? It means everything to us, really. Yeah, we've been here in the city for over a decade. Um, and uh, yeah, like she said, we, we love it being here and uh, we'll do everything we can to bring a little bit of uh, our take on uh, what we love. Right. Um, yeah. I think that's what we focus on the most is just what, what are things that we love and then what can we share? So that's why we're not just one thing. That's why we're retail. That's why we're coffee. That's why we're music. Um, we want to just really take everything under one roof and just give it to, to the world. <laughs> Well, Lorena and David, we thank you guys so much for coming in or for hanging thank out with us this right. morning, sharing everything us. about the mellow and making the city greener and just a little bit brighter. So good luck to you. It was an honor. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you for having we us. Love